So we're going to go ahead and call the speakers who've requested time up now uh, in the order in which I've received these cards. Scott Largent, Susan Bassey, Mark Trout, and Richard Calhoun. Next speaker, please. Morning. Good morning. My name is Susan Bassey, and um, I have, I just want to give a little background. I've been a Santa Clara County resident since 1990. I've raised three spectacular boys here in our public and private schools. I've owned multiple properties and businesses. I published a little magazine that many of you read called My Out and About Magazine, which published from the Campbell Express. Sally Howe was one of my best and favorite editors until she passed in 2016. Um, or 15, and I actually sold my publication to the Metro newspaper. I'm currently working on a project um, where I will be the publisher of a newspaper called Ex Parte Media. We will be investigating family courts in California, and um, my editor is Joe Sweeney, who is a court reform um, activist and advocate. I'm a First Amendment advocate. And I've worked with many of you, Cindy. Um, you came to a Seroptimus meeting and asked us in advance of the Super Bowl coming to town to help with some of the sex trafficking issues. I've worked on that. I've worked on many committees um, for our youth and to protect our community for many years. In 2012, my husband filed for divorce and I entered Santa Clara County Family Courts. That was a foreign land to me and I was very unfamiliar and very ignorant about the process of family court. My divorce will probably go down as one of the worst in the county, not because we're spectacularly rich, but because of what has happened with the dysfunctions of our system. Lawyers who are out of control, who are engaging in antitrust activity and RICO-like activity. And two weeks ago, I promised that we will be doing a pre-publishing report in advance of our paper, and that will be submitted to all of the supervisors I will also submit it to the Santa Clara Grand Jury, the Attorney General, the Commission on Judicial Performance, and the State Bar, because nobody's hands are clean in this. What is concerning is that our, as economic variables have happened in our community, our local community papers have gone away, and that has led to less transparency about what's going on. There is a culture in this community that can no longer be tolerated, and when my report comes out, you will all be very embarrassed about what's been going on in Santa Clara County Courts as you have been the leaders in this community. You won't be able to say that you didn't know. These people have been calling you. They have been crying in your offices. They have been talking about their property being stripped, their children being taken from them, and things that you wouldn't believe happen in America. It's appalling, and I'm asking you to do something to change the culture. I'm doing something by publishing the report. It will be disseminated far and wide. I will not redact names, and I will call everybody to be accountable because that's the job of a free press. I have been threatened by the Santa Clara County Police and by the sheriffs, and I, I'm not going to be threatened into not publishing this information. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Next speaker, please. Please stop recording. Right now. I am trying to do my Stop job. Stop recording. I heard you. Okay. Stop recording. I heard you.